it's a bit of an optical illusion that the Great Pyramid, it actually looks smaller in the distance. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah. From this angle, can you see, although it's higher, 10 meters higher than the second pyramid, but just from this angle in the area, the second pyramid looked higher because it's built in a higher level of the ground in the plateau of Giza. Are they constantly digging here? I mean, underneath us now, it's just never ending, isn't it? This area is a big mystery in Egypt because we discover every day lots of tombs and small pyramids because can you see beside the third one small three small pyramids as well so we discover more of the three pyramids for the queens we discover more tombs for the nobles and it's endless forever it's the big mystery of egypt here so what drew you to egypt in the first place first thing was i need to come to egypt i've had all these gifts from school from primary school i want to see what was the the real meaning of being inside the pyramid so this has been your dream for almost 35 years what's it like now that you're here um it's magical yeah it's amazing um, it's it's something that you cannot describe until you have to you have to be here to actually be able to describe how they look like you were saying yeah. that uh, you went inside the pyramids earlier yeah. how did that feel um, it was a mix of feelings when we went inside uh, up to the end of the Grand Pyramid on the chamber and I felt really emotional actually. It was, it was a big feeling inside of me. <laughs> it, it was, it's difficult to describe. When I was growing up, my mum would share with us this story about her very first time in Egypt. I think she was about 21 and she was able to climb to the very top of the Great Pyramid. Well today, because of safety and preservation reasons, you can no longer do that. So, the opportunity to walk inside the pyramid into the burial chamber where the sarcophagus still is, that is an opportunity we cannot miss. If you don't mind in closed spaces, of course, and um, I'm really sorry to say this, they won't let us take any cameras in. Sorry about that. You're gonna have to come and do this for yourself. Is the Sphinx male or female? No, actually it is male because this is the head of the king, the second pyramid builder, Kafra. Okay, okay. So the head of the king and the body of a lion. Yeah, protecting. to be strong like the lion to protect his burial chamber and monument. Did Napoleon shoot off its nose? How did you know? <laughs> oh, I said that story. And what happened to the beard? The beard actually in the Islamic period of time, it collapsed. And then they took it to the uh, Cairo Museum. And is it okay if I do the classic shot from here to kiss the Sphinx? Of course. Okay, how's this? <laughs> totally embarrassing. <laughs> 